jerk. Oh, Stu. Oh, Mr. M. Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. You got a new nickname for oh me? Sorry. I just, no. I just, you know what? I, I, I just registered for this cable course, and it's my first cable course that I'm taking, and and I have no idea what cable means. I mean, it says cable, and I know it says, you know, but what? It says to TBA, to be announced. What is cable? Cable is great. It's a delivery method that comes out. You don't have to come to class. You watch it via cable, and you um, twice a week the programs will be aired, and then you can tape them which, or record them in some manner so that if you can't watch it at the prescribed time, then you can watch it later at your convenience. And then they're going to be replayed over the weekends. And you could catch up if you miss it, but that's not recommended. Now, you don't have to come to class. Cool, but, I like yeah. that. I so that. if you work, it's really useful if you work. But if you, um, you'll, you don't have to come to class, but there's some serious advantages and disadvantages to taking a course like so this. So tell me, I want to know about the advantages first. Tell okay. me all the good things, because you already said I don't have to come to class. Okay, so, so advantages, you don't have to show up at 9 okay. o'clock every Monday and Wednesday awesome. and, and I get to fight traffic and go to class. Right, and I get to sleep in. From the comfort of your home, yeah. You okay. could even put the, the microphone, in the uh earplugs in and listen to it and get it by osmosis while you sleep. <laughs> oh, okay, I like that already. <laughs> All right, you can watch the shows at your convenience. If you record them, you can rewatch them and you can avoid the syndrome of, gee, I understood that when you told me it in class, but when I got home, I forgot it. Uh -huh. So now you can just put it back on. You can save the programs and review them before exams. So there's a lot of advantages. Okay, wait, I have to, I have to save the programs? Now, how, how do I save them? I mean, well, you can record them by either TiVo or DVR, whatever means you have to record even them. VC, even VHS, VCR, if that's what I... Yeah, if you okay, still have one okay. of those. <laughs> even 8-track. <laughs> oh, that's just audio. <laughs> okay. And then there's certain disadvantages. And okay. the disadvantages would be is that you need to be disciplined so that you need to motivate yourself to do the work, to watch the show, do the homework, participate, um, which is not necessarily a, a disadvantage. It can also be a, an advantage to give yourself some discipline. Okay. Um, if, you, if you do fall behind, you can, you can fall so far behind that you may never catch up. So you can't procrastinate and say, well, I'll just watch it later. I don't have to watch it today. I could watch it tomorrow. And then tomorrow you'll say, well, I don't have to watch it today. I could watch it tomorrow. Or then you can say, well, I can catch up on Sunday. And now you're a week behind. So there's some oh. really serious disadvantages. You just have to be disciplined. But I think the advantages far outweigh the disadvantages. Yeah, I think so, too, because I think, you know, I don't have to go to class. That's great. I mean, I can watch it from my own home. I just tape the show. So in case it airs at, like, maybe 2 or 3 in the morning, then which I can tape it. Which is not unusual. Yeah, which is not <laughs> unusual. Okay, so oh, you mean it might? Yeah, and just think, that's another advantage. Suppose you're having trouble going to sleep, and the show comes out <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> It'll help you go to sleep. Okay, that's great, because I am an insomniac. Okay, so um, I, get to, I can tape it. I can watch it when I want to. Mm -hmm. And as long as I'm disciplined and I don't fall behind, then I can actually do this. That's right. Okay, so I want to know now. Okay, so I really want to do well this semester. I got to pass my courses because I slacked off before. And now I want to get back on track. So success. How can I ensure my success? To be successful, I mean, you have to have initiative, motivation. You have to set goals. And maybe your goals should be set not too far above what your abilities are, but they should always be set to push your abilities, to challenge yourself, to improve and do a little bit more. So I gotta stretch myself. It you really got won't. it. So if I shoot for that A, reach for that A, I just might fall among the yeah. B's or the A's. And you A's. might even become six foot one day. You never know. Are you saying I'm? <laughs> are you saying I'm short? No, I'm just saying you're not as tall as you could be. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna try. A little taller here. Okay, so I like the idea of you telling me that I can record the shows now. So I got this great plan. Tell me if you like this plan. Okay, my plan is I'm not going to watch the shows for the entire week because I just want to do what I want to do. And then on the weekends, I'm just going to watch the, the rebroadcasts on the weekends. Five of them or two of them, whichever. I'm going to watch them on the weekends. So what's wrong with that plan? Let's see. First off is that usually it rains on the weekends and you'll spoil your whole, 
your whole weekend. Well, I guess you won't spoil your weekend because you can use the idea that it's raining, so I might as well be home studying. Yeah, yeah. But so? what if something comes up and something fun is you have something fun to do on the weekend and you go, oh, I can study tomorrow or I can study Sunday night. I know, like going to the beach. So, so what else is bad about that idea? Now you're a week behind. So you've gone through at least two programs and you've done no homework, so you're playing catch-up a week behind. So you're, you're going from the why do it now when I can do it later approach instead of the why do it later when I can do it now approach. So are you saying I'm, I'm a procrastinator? Yeah, sounds like it. But that's what you want to avoid. I mean, you want to avoid procrastination because if you fall into that trap, what happens if you're in the sixth week and you're going, oh, this is going so easy, I'm going to put this off until the weekend. And now that week you get behind and that only comp compounds itself in the next week, you get behind even more and now you're two weeks behind and now you're running the risk of failing the course. So you mean I happens, can't just do those like weekend marathons? I mean, just let them build up and at the end of the term, right before the exams or in the quizzes, I'm just going to watch them all. I can't do that? Well, I've had a number of students try that. And the number successful in it is the goose egg, zero. Zero? Yep. I'm not going to get by like that. I mean, that. unless you already know the material, you're not going to succeed that way. Okay. You have homework to do. You have homework to catch up on. There's not enough time in the weekend to catch up on two hours of shows and about six hours of homework and then understand it all and ask questions. Well, you are the math professor, so I do trust you on that <laughs> one. So, um, <laughs> Let me ask you about motivation. Like, how much, how much motivation do I have to have to succeed in the course? Do I have to like, I mean, really want to go for it or can I just like, oh, you know. Well, again, we get back to the approach where if you're going to take a course, you're signing up for a course for a couple of different reasons. One is either it's elective that you want to sign up for or it might be something that's required. It's compulsory and you need to take that for your degree. But you really don't like the subject like math, right? <laughs> I hate math. So if you go to, to the course and you say, I just want to get through this course with a C, maybe you'll get through it and you won't remember anything from the course and it'll be sort of useful. But if you say, I'm going to make the most out of this course, I gotta, I'm, I'm going to have to do it, I might as well make the most of it and then get what little enjoyment out of it I can. Who knows? Maybe you might even get to like it at some point in time. I know back a million years ago, before the, the age of the dinosaur, when I was a student. When you were around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I had to take classes that I didn't want to take, and I dreaded taking those classes. And some of those classes turned out to be really fun and useful. And some of those things I still remember. I remember really? once I had to take an art class, and I hated the thought of taking an art class. Who cares about art? But now I see the art all the time. And, and I remember it, and I, I'm surprised how many things I remember from that class and how much how useful it turned out to be. It's really so neat. Some things are not always obvious that, that you'll enjoy them, but you might as well make a go at it. You mean I might even like math? You might. Okay, it sounds just, good to me. I mean, and, and if you go at something with a negative attitude, you're going to have a negative result, right? Garbage in, say, garbage not, out. I'm not going to like this, guaranteed you're not going to like it. But if you say, well, I'm going to give it my best shot again, then you have a much better chance of succeeding, getting something out of it. And who knows? Maybe you'll even, instead of being wanting to be a, a doctor, you'll become an engineer. Wow, <laughs> sounds good to me. Sounds good to me. Okay, so i got to tell you something very honestly. I don't have a whole lot of initiative. Except you know? for partying. Oh, yeah, i got a lot of initiative with party, yes. But so when it comes to my studies, I tend to just, you know, I just wait for emails to come to me. You know, I don't really, you know, that's kind of a problem for me. So, I mean, do I have to have initiative? I mean, that is a problem. Yes, and you should. And, and one of the areas where initiative is especially important is that if you like you just mentioned, you're having a problem, you don't know what to do with it. You have to go to your instructor and say, I don't understand this. I'm having problems. I can't tell you how many students I get that I send them emails, send them emails, write them notes on exams that go back and say, you're having problems with this, please come and see me. And they don't, or they say, gee, I didn't want to bother you. <laughs> Again, it's, it's your life, so you need to take the initiative to make sure you succeed. Okay, okay, okay? So, so does that mean, okay, so... that guy waving at us just now? 
What's he doing? <laughs> oh. So, so anyway, You're I need to so, give you a high five. Oh, so I need to have <laughs> initiative, right? So yes. I need to. Okay, so that means I need to contact my professor when I'm having trouble, when there's a problem, or if my professor tells me that I need to see him or see her, then I should con keep in contact. Absolutely. Okay, and Absolutely. it's my responsibility to check. Uh, check the syllabus yep. for updates and all that. I mean, syllabus. The syllabus is your contract with the class, and and it's like your resource manual. It's got everything in it that you need. It should have all the sk schedules for what program, what the content is, when it okay. airs. Um, so that that's a good idea to maybe review what's going to come on before it actually comes on, so you're not far into the material when it's presented. So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta read my book before I watch the show, is sure. that what you're saying? Sure, that's what I always tell my math students, okay. read the book before you come to class and then it won't be totally foreign to you when you hear it for the second time rather than the first time. Okay, yeah. okay, doesn't sound too hard, but okay, so where do I get my syllabus? I mean, I, you know, it's, I registered, but I'm like, where do I get it? They well, didn't send me. Well, one of our most useful resources is La Lima. Laulima. And all students have access to Laulima. What is Laulima? <laughs> <laughs> Laulima is an online website for the University of Hawaii. And um, it's where most instructors put useful information. Some even give quizzes and tests via Laulima. But you log in using your, your UH portal um, username and, and ID. Okay. And you get into Laulima and you'll have your classes registered there. And each instructor sets it up differently, but myself, I always put my syllabus there. I put resources for the course they can use, handouts, um, copies of, of exam solutions after exams are given. So lots of useful information you can gather from La Lima. Okay, but um, what's the URL for La Lima? How do I know how to get there? laulima.hawaii.edu So laulima.hawaii.edu <laughs> if, if you go to the HCC website, oh, okay. there's a link there for um, laulima. Okay, so HCC website, honolulu.hawaii.edu Yep. And then there's a link that'll say laulima there? Yep, there's a link up top, right next to, I think it's right next to my UH portal. You'll see it right on the top and it says laulima. Click and on that. And when you go in, you click on that and it'll say my active courses. And it'll show your courses for that semester, and you just click on it, and it'll Boom. bring you to your links. Okay, so yeah. that's where I can get my syllabus. Exactly. Awesome. Okay, so what other resources do I have to help me out? I mean, I don't want to feel so alone. When I'm in a cable course, I don't see my classmates, and so okay. I, I need to know what other resources I have. Well, our most useful resource is Elmo, and here he is now. And Elmo can guide you through, <laughs> through several, several things you may need. Um, we have the library where the DVDs are. Elmo is the DVD librarian. <laughs> in, 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 the, in the library, you can check out the DVD of a particular program, but okay. only overnight. Um, the most useful resource is your instructor. Um, I usually keep a couple of sets of DVDs for students that, wanna, that haven't copied them and need to borrow. It's on a limited basis. They can borrow a few of them at a time. But this is only if we go to HCC, exams. right? Um, it is, but we also have on the Outer Islands, okay. which we're getting more and more students from now, um, they have the DVDs in their libraries as well. Oh, so I can go check them out. Yeah, and if you want to keep them for two nights, you beg and plead with your instructor, and your instructor writes to the librarian and says, trust this person for this time, and you can keep it overnight. Oh, okay, but that's something I don't want to, you know, build up, right? So what do you think? Do you think you can do this and be successful? I, 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 I'm gonna give it my best shot. Like you said, I don't shoot for C's. I go tips for it. for success. I I hope so. But wait, I gotta ask you about contact. So if I need to, ha you know, keep it in contact. What if I forget to do an assignment? Well, it's as instructors, it's our job to make sure you don't forget. And if you don't do it, to ask why. It's kind of prompt you and remind you. But it's again, we come back to the initiative. You need to do the initiative to inform your instructor. You need to inform your instructor if you're gonna be out of town. Some people have, have to go out of town. They have family illnesses. There's all kinds of reasons why job problems, why they can't well, miss some classes or maybe miss an exam. But you really need to keep in contact with your instructor. Why? Because your instructor is your best resource. All right. So these are your cable course tips. Hope you've enjoyed them. And we wish you the best success.